Hello comrades, before when I record this video I decided to take some time off and play some joint security area, then I found a building of some sort of a shop that is created by the devs. I was given special access to inside the shop so I can tell you what is in his perspective. As you can see here the rocks are lining up and trying to buy whatever is served here. Before recording they said that they are going to sell him an access for 100k rocks. And here is a rock asking for them to slap himself to Brazil. You are going to Brazil! <laughs> and now we have rocks complaining people are cutting the line because all of them are really impatient. Don't worry, the moss will sort this out. Now it's my turn to become the cashier and serve the rocks what they want. I see the moss and the admin really want social distancing even though the pandemic is over but oh well. Rules are rules. And things are really getting heated fast. Before I can serve anyone that guy used his flamethrower and burned everyone who just wanted to get service from me. And then this guy decided to complain to me that he didn't get sent to Brazil. Well too bad because I don't care and I'm going to pretend to save the complaint even though it doesn't matter. And oh god why is everyone's health is too low. I hate my job. Then here's a new customer that wants to buy. People. Okay then. I am going to ask you to pay up a lot of money because nowadays rocks are expensive. And no, I cannot allow you to work here because I am not the manager. Are you blind? Anyways, just before I get to serve this rock someone set me on fire and I had to get out of my seat. How rude of you. Whatever, I'm going to go outside like what rocks do the most. And I am getting bored of watching this whole thing so I decided to make them come out and leave their queue so that when they re-enter they have to wait all the way back. Let's see how many people fall for this trick. And it turns out that there is one person that is willing to leave their line and go all the way back after. What a shame. But he is fine with it. Anyways back to stalking. And WTF why are you complaining that the store is closed? Why do you think shops should open without closing? Oh and there's a war going on. I better participate in it. The war has ended. I didn't catch which side won the war so I decided to go back to the shop. Now I am given a flamethrower by the devs to enforce the line rules so that when rocks go out of post, I will commit TFOC on them. And that guy wants me to commit TFOC on the whole line because they are all being rocks at the moment so I did commit TFOC on the whole line. But it was funny anyways. And while I was enforcing TFOC, I accidentally got burned by another TFOC enforcer. Ouch. Oh and another comrade noticed me. Thank you for your review it will help a lot. Anyways back to TFOC I and I got orders. So he wants me to clean the whole line if it messes up. Alrighty then. And I can tell this guy really wants to do my job at forcing rocks to stay in post. I'm now TFOC I guess. You're going to Brazil! <laughs> Hashtag burn the rocks. I guess I am a dog raider now. Time to commit TFOC on the whole line for no reason. And it seems like I lost my flamethrower. How rude of the devs. But to make up for their mistakes they gave me a silver AK-47 that was used by the red guards of the game. Unfortunately I cannot use it to kill other rocks with it. Which sucks. The north side is now closed and the shop on the fake side is now open. It's sad that I cannot go there because I really want to continue my work. Oh well. Thank you for watching comrades. I hope you like and subscribe because that really helps me a lot. Also don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. Goodbye comrades. You are going to